Godzilla vs. Kong. Today we're celebrating this movie with two cakes. One that took 10 minutes and another one that took 10 hours. I loved making these cakes, so let's get started. Now I asked you guys on Instagram and TikTok, which one of these times would you like to see me create first? And you decided Godzilla. So we're gonna start with my 10 minute cake. Start the timer and get straight to work. So the first thing I'm gonna do, take off these piles of buttercream and just flatten out the top of this cake. Then I'm gonna set this baby aside and start to roll out all my fondant. That way when I hit the halfway point, I won't be stressing and then rolling out my fondant then, it'll already be done. So we got eyes, we got catch lights, we got a tongue, we got a mouth, we got a fin. And then last we're gonna be rolling out some gray for his skin. Ooh, I know that this, oh my gosh, look at my curly hair. It looks like Mowgli just left the jungle. What? <laughs> it's 8 o'clock in the morning when I'm making this cake. I literally just like woke up, turned on the camera and was like, I'm going to make this cake right now. So I'm removed the... Oh gosh, look at that mess. Hide that. Hide that mess from the camera. There we go. Remove the excess and I started to work on all of his features. So I'm just creating his eyes with a round cookie cutter and then just making them look a little evil just by cutting out a little bit. Now I'm not going to be gluing any of this down with magic sauce just in case they're a little uneven I'll be able to like fix it you know if I just started adding magic sauce there would just be like streaks of magic sauce all over this cake while I try to assemble this. I love how angry this little kawaii guy looks. I would definitely pay to see like baby Godzilla versus King Kong and they're not like destroying a city. They're just like fighting in a playground like little kids. If that's not possible, just a side by side of like Kong versus Godzilla and then like what it would look like if there was like a kawaii Kong versus Godzilla. I'd pay to see that. This boy looks so angry, huh? I mean, not angry enough that he would destroy a city, but like a child who's about to throw a tantrum at Target. Now I added his fin, and at this point I realized that I was supposed to cut the top of this so that it wasn't a perfect circle, but I forgot, so I ended up just having to push <laughs> the fondant and the icing down. That's what happens when you're forgetful. Okay, now it's time to start arranging all of my pieces, making sure that they're in the right spot. And then I added this little line to create Godzilla's snout. Okay, less than a minute left. Keep pressing. You got 30 seconds left. Use every second. Don't celebrate early. I know you. I know you, Mowgli from the jungle. You celebrate too early sometimes. One, zero. Good job. Clap. Clap, you silly man. Clap. I'm very proud of how cute this is. Now let's get to the 10 hour cake. So I'm starting with the same size cake that I used to create King Kong. Cut it into three layers and each layer is going to be a different shape so I can really start to create Godzilla's dimensions. Oh, look at that. Do you see it? It kind of looks like Barney at this point. So no, you don't see Godzilla yet. Maybe I should make a Barney cake, man. That guy was my childhood. I loved him. I still have so many of his videos. All right, that's a little off topic. Let's get back to Godzilla. So I love Godzilla. I loved the first Godzilla movie, even though he was in it for like five minutes. And I really liked King of Monsters, even though it got terrible reviews. But you know what? There were a whole bunch of monsters fighting, destroying cities. What more could you ask for? Besides that, I thought that the mythology that they crafted was very sophisticated. I loved seeing all of that fake ancient artwork that explained why these titans were coming into power. Oh gosh. And that temple that Godzilla was just like chilling in. Who made that? It was probably the same aliens that made the pyramid. Ooh, that nose is so square. You need to address that first because that nose is way too square. I really love adding the inside of all of these mouths. It makes him look like an elderly Godzilla. Wouldn't you pay to watch that movie? Just geriatric Godzilla versus retired King Kong? That fight scene would take a little longer, but it's, it'd probably be worth the money. <laughs> so after I added the tongue, I added all of Godzilla's teeth, and then it started to look less like Grandpa Godzilla and more like Godzilla, you know, 30s, 40s, like prime of his life Godzilla. Now this is definitely where I messed up because I didn't look at the picture when I was painting this and I was like, Godzilla's a lizard, he's green. 
Turns out he's not really that green. <laughs> I need to pay more attention to detail and not just think about the general stuff. After I added all of the shadow to the cake, voila, my 10 hour Godzilla cake was complete. What do you think? Do you love it as much as I do? Because I think this guy looks pretty terrifying. I'm curious, which version of this cake do you like? Do you like the 10 minute kawaii version? Or do you like the Godzilla that took 10 hours, more realistic, looking like he's in the prime of his life? Kawaii version looks good, but I don't know if it can compare to this realistic Godzilla. And I've got one more question to answer. Which side are you on? Are you on Team Godzilla side? Or you're on Team King Kong. Now in this video, I'm probably just gonna say that I'm Team Godzilla for sure, but then in my King Kong cake, I'm gonna be like, oh my gosh, I'm Team King Kong all the way. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you. I will see you very soon. Bye.